High frequency trading, or HFT, in its most basic sense, means the practice of using advanced computer technology to generate, route, and execute orders at high speed. In today's markets for equities, futures, and foreign exchange, transactions are conducted typically within milliseconds or microseconds. In that sense, this market is a high frequency market. Let me emphasize that by using the word HFT, I'm using it as a neutral term. In the discussion of market making, HFT tends to have a positive connotation. In the discussion of uh, predatory trading or front running, it tends to have a negative connotation. But by itself, a higher speed does not necessarily mean it's good or evil. Now, what are the cost and benefits of speeding up trading in financial market? Just like any other innovation, it has the dark side and the bright side. On the bright side, a high frequency market tends to be more responsive to new information such as earnings announcements or microeconomic data releases. Investors generally uh, benefit from being able to react more immediately to the most updated information. This helps price discovery and help investors to make more informed investment decisions. On the dark side, a high frequency market tends to be thinner. Namely, a given large transaction size, say 10,000 shares or 100,000 shares, would create a bigger price impact in the high frequency market. This would create an incentive for large investors to split a large order into many, many smaller pieces and execute them over time. This type of piecemeal execution tends to create a bigger delay cost for large investors, such as mutual funds and pension funds. Now, given this trade-off, what can we say about the optimal trading frequency in financial market? It turns out to depend critically on the nature of new information. If the arrival of new information is typically scheduled, such as earnings announcements, then slow trading is better. We could open the market right after each piece of important news, have investors trade on the news very briefly, and then close the market until the next piece of news. In this sense, the time concentration of liquidity is very important and beneficial. However, if most of the news are unplanned or even surprises, such as merger news, then the high frequency market tends to be optimal. Precisely because information can come in any time, closing down the market even very briefly can be costly. In this sense, we would want to keep the market open, sometimes continuously. Now, what does it say about the different securities? As it turns out, the optimal trading frequency varies security by security. For those securities in the market that have a lot of surprise news, we would want to keep the market open as often as possible, or even continuously. Examples would include large cap stocks, treasury bonds, large major currencies, as well as liquid derivatives like futures contracts. By contrast, for securities that do not have a lot of surprise news or very scarce news, we would want to trade them in infrequent market, such as batch auctions. Examples would include illiquid small stocks, municipal bonds, corporate bonds, and illiquid derivatives.